Where do voters stand on legalizing marijuana? How many states are already legalized? I just, it's just been sort of an absurd law. Only about a third of U.S. voters were in favor in 2003. But two decades later, support went up to 70 percent. Now the federal government is working to keep up with public sentiment. In 2022, President Joe Biden pardoned prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. Because no one should be jailed for simply using or having on their record. Marijuana has been categorized as a Schedule I substance along with drugs like heroin for decades. But the Biden administration is trying to change that. My administration took a major step to reclassify marijuana from a Schedule I drug a Schedule 3 drug. A Schedule 3 classification would make marijuana a controlled substance, the same category as prescription drugs like ketamine. During former President Donald Trump's 2016 campaign, he said that legalization should be left up to the states. You know, I know people that are very, very sick, and for whatever reason, the marijuana really helps them. Uh, but, but it really helps them. But I think in terms of marijuana, I think, and legalization, I think that should be a state issue, state by state. But his administration rescinded a Justice Department trio of memos from the Obama administration that prevented federal prosecution of marijuana offenses in states where it's legal. This November, voters in Florida, where Trump is a resident, will decide whether recreational marijuana should be legalized in their state. There may be political benefits to supporting loosening rules on marijuana, as its popularity, particularly among younger voters, could drive people to the polls. Reporting at the White House, I'm Julia Benbrook.